Hey, John from JohnMcNeil.com here, and today we actually have a special video because I have LJ Avilas on, who I call like a solo ad ologist, if that's even a word, but uh, LJ has actually been uh, running solo ads for a number of years now, and he's sent hundreds of thousands of clicks, so he knows a lot about solo ads. So there's two things that I want to get across to you guys, and I'm going to let LJ explain everything on how to actually profit with solo ads but two things that you want to realize when it comes to you know running profitable solo ad campaigns number one is all solo ads aren't created equal so you definitely want to try to partner up with somebody that is a reputable solo ad vendor and there's some key tips and things that you want to find out before you actually purchase a solo ad LJ is going to go into that and then the other thing is I want you guys to understand the difference between mix clicks and solo ad clicks. I don't wanna to go too much in it because LJ is actually going to explain it in this video. So make sure you watch the video to the very end guys. And then after LJ is done, I'm actually gonna come back just briefly and give you guys a actual special gift that I think you're gonna like. So I'm gonna hand it off to LJ and then stay tuned to after LJ finishes speaking about how you can actually profit with solo ads. Make sure you listen to it because there's definitely some dimes in this uh, presentation here and then I'll be back. Yo, what's going on? It's LJ Villas here. And in this video, we're gonna talk about how to profit with solo ads. Now I've been selling solo ads for the past several years and made well over six figures uh, between selling solo ads and my affiliate marketing business. Uh, on top of that, I've probably sent well over uh, 500 plus thousand clicks to my clients. Uh, I'm a solo ad buyer, I'm a solo ad seller, so I know pretty well what to do and what does and doesn't work with solo ads. And I study and learn from the best in the industry. So I'm here to share with you some of my knowledge in the next few minutes to help you profit with solo ads, okay? So the first thing you need to understand when you buy solo ads, you're probably at the spot, I'm ready to buy solo ads and, and I wanna, you know, let's say you're going to spend a hundred dollars and get a hundred clicks on solo ads. And then you, your goal in your mind is you want to make back $200. You know, the goal most people think when you go in is I want to spend a dollar on advertisement and make back $2, right? That's the goal. That's what most people think. Um, the problem is most people think, and when they get to that point is that they're going to make it back immediately. And the reality is most of the time you don't. A lot of the times when you invest in solo ads, it is a loss up front. However, the goal and the real goal of buying solo ads is to be building your own email list. You're building your own audience to promote to. Yes, you're going to be sending them to an offer, but you you may not make your money back initially. It does happen. I'm not saying it doesn't, but or uh, all the time you can. I've had one client. She bought a hundred dollars. I'm sorry, yeah, a hundred clicks from me, and she made five hundred twenty-five dollars in revenue uh, from buying. A uh, hundred dollars worth of clicks. Actually, it was a hundred or five hundred twenty-five dollars in profit because the system she was promoting was a hundred percent commission system. So she bought a hundred clicks and then spent five hundred twenty-five dollars. Now, on the contrary, I've had people buy five hundred clicks for me and not get any sale up front. Okay, and the thing is, that's okay, and that happens. You need to understand that with this industry, there's no one set traffic source for one set offer that's gonna work every single time, okay? It's like a roll of the dice. You don't know what you're gonna get every time. Sometimes you're gonna get great results, sometimes you're not. But realize this is a long-term game and what you're investing in is building your email list and that's ultimately the key in having long-term success, okay? So let's take a step back because before you even talk to any solo ad vendor, before you even go looking for a vendor to buy from, there's a few things you need in place. And I wanna make sure you have this set up. The first thing you need is a, a landing page. You need a lead capture page, which basically has a headline, you know, enter your email here and a button to, to sign up. You don't wanna to send to a sales page or a sign up page. You want a simple headline, you know, you're gonna, whatever your offer is, you're gonna make money with this. Um, this system that makes $300 a day or whatever. And then, you know, enter your email here to get information and then a button that says click here to learn more or whatever. You know, that's the basic headline. You want a lead capture page. And what happens is when you capture that lead, they're going to be added to your email list, which is number two. The most important thing is you need an autoresponder. Okay. Um, an autoresponder is an email database that allows you to send out one email and it's like a blast email to your leads. Okay. Now with an autoresponder, what's also great is you can set up, which is the third thing you need, an automated follow-up series. 
Okay, in general, some people ask how many days? Should I do three days? Should I do seven days? Should I do a week? What are, you know, two weeks? Um, do, make it as long as you want. And all, when you're, they're on your email list. They're on there. They're there because they want to make money. And now you're the person that's going to be there to contact them and help them learn how to make money, whether they're joining your system, you're buying your, your affiliate product or whatever it is, right? So you want to build that relationship. So have a set, at minimum, a seven day follow up series. Uh, for whatever offer you're promoting, uh, I have some offers or some follow-up series that are two months long. When they sign up and opt in, they're getting at least one email a day for two months for that offer. That's how long you can set up. And I have others that are just seven days. In general, I do a minimum seven days. Usually two to three weeks is what I try for. Um, and then the thing is you can promote other stuff. Okay, so they might not buy product A, the main offer you're promoting right now, but eventually they might buy product B or they might buy product C or product D. The key is you're going to have more people to market to and send offers to. And over time, as they build that know, like, and trust factor with you, that's when they start buying from you. When they know, like, and trust you is when they finally start to buy. Okay. So those are some things you need to have set up. Oh, and the fourth thing is the offer, which as you saw, it's not even the most important part that I talked about. What you're promoting, honestly, is kind of like secondary. As long as you have these established pieces up top, your lead capture page, your uh, email autoresponder, and uh, your follow-up series, that's key. Because it doesn't matter what you're promoting, as long as you, any, you can plug in anything at that point, the offer at that point is then what works. So whether you're in a business opportunity you're promoting or uh, just an affiliate offer from like Warrior Plus or ClickBank or JVZoo or something, uh, that's that's really the last piece of the puzzle. That's when you plug in, okay, this is the offer, tweak the headline, tweak your autoresponder to be that. But as long as you have that set up, then and only then are you ready to buy solo ads. Okay, so now when you're ready to go to solo ad vendor, what do you need? What do I, Who do I find? Where do I go to? There's a lot of places you can go to. Um, there's like Udemy, there's uh, Facebook groups, Facebook marketplaces. You can just search on Google. There's a lot of sites that, um, you know, that have solo ad vendors listed, like top 20 solo ad vendors to buy from when you Google it and that kind of stuff. So that's uh, how you do it. But really the best way is word of mouth. Word of mouth is usually what works best. If you have friends who are buying solo ads, see who they talk to and all that kind of stuff. In general, some things you want to look out for. Does a solo app vendor have a website? Now, first, let me preface everything while I'm saying this isn't go across the board for as a blanket statement for all solo app vendors, uh, because there are some good ones who don't have things and there are some bad ones who have things set up. So it's really just, you know, this is kind of a general thing. Uh, does the vendor have like a professional website? You know, are they marketing themselves? Do they, are they building their own brand? You know, you can tell that they, they have a website, they're investing in themselves at least to build a website, they're somewhat professionalism. Do they have testimonials? Testimonials are huge. Uh, if you, they have text testimonials, video testimonials, you know, um, whatever, any kind of testimonials. What also, if you wanna take it a step further, is actually reach out to some of those testimonials because, you know, reality is sometimes testimonials, you can kind of fake screenshots and stuff and just put whatever. It's the truth that some people do that and take take that extra step, but whatever. So that's what you want to do is see if they have testimonials. And if you maybe know them, reach out to those testimonials. And that's why I said reach out to people you already know. Um, third is if they have good ratings. Um, like if they're new to me, you can kind of rate customer, rate the vendor and that kind of stuff. Um, and fourth, you know, they're, if they have a lot, like uh, maybe a lot of mutual friends on Facebook, that kind of thing, um, you can kind of see their testimonials and friendships that way. So those are some questions I kind of make notes over here. I'm just making sure I hit everything I wanted to. Um, you know, questions, oh, okay, questions you should ask the vendor if you're reaching out to the vendor. Um, you know, honestly, some questions are like, how big are your email list? Does it really matter? Because a lot of people build their email list as they go along with it. Um, maybe how many times they email their list, uh, or it doesn't hurt to ask that question. Um, is the traffic coming from mixed clicks or solo clicks? There is a difference in that. Um, mixed clicks is, solo click is when they actually email their list and then it, the email comes to you, um, which means they've been on their list a while, so they're a little warmer. However, um, they've probably seen a bunch of offers, so that's, that is a solo click, you know? And then there's also mixed clicks, which is usually what I do most of the time, mixed clicks, because it's a little bit of both, but also some fresh incoming traffic. Because like 
you know, in certain cases they have, they run ads online, you know, YouTube ads, Google ads, Bing ads, whatever. Um, maybe they're buying traffic from other sold out vendors to opt into their own offers and whatever. So what they do is they warm them up a little bit and then they send them out to you as like the best make money online offer. So it's like a fresh opt in lead. It's someone hot. They just opted into their list. They're like, cool. Yeah. Let me see this offer. And then boom. So they go out to your offer. So there's someone, it's like a mix of both. And it's usually what works best. Um, some people prefer one over the other. I, in general, do mixed clicks because I feel that's always worked the best for my clients. Um, and I haven't had a lot of complaints in the past. Um, so I have a lot of testimonials. Um, another question when you want to ask with your solo vendor is how are they getting sales from their own clients? I'm sorry, from their own email list. Okay, so like, if I don't have client orders, I'll email my list to my own offers, my own affiliate offers, or my own systems I create, or my own uh, business opportunities I'm promoting or whatever. And, uh, you know, like I show my own screenshots, like here's some income I made from my own list. So, you know, are if they're making money from their own list, that's a good thing because that includes buyers in their list. And you want those buyers going out to you as well. Because once you get a buyer, a buyer's a buyer's a buyer, they're gonna buy later on. Those are the warmest kind of leads you wanna have, which is another question you wanna have. Are there buyers on your list? That's definitely a good question you want to have. Um, are buyers included in, in, you know, in the traffic that comes out? So those are all kind of questions you have. Um, and and uh, I think that is most of the tips I had that I wanted to touch with you uh, for here. And um, I hope you got some value out of this. I'm going to kick it back over to John who's going to close out this video. And um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And I'll be glad to answer any other questions you may have. Uh, between John and I will both be hammering out the questions. So uh, that's it for this video. I'll see you on the next one. And always remember, you're just one side hustle away. Take care. All right, guys. So I hope you learned a lot from LJ's presentation on how to actually profit with solo ads. Now, I've asked LJ to actually give my audience a special discount. So for a limited time only, he's actually going to be giving a 15% discount on his actual solo ad. So in the link in the description, there's going to be a link that you can actually get to his solo ad page. And then there's going to be a special coupon code. It's going to be John Special. And you're going to be able to put that in. It's going to give you a 15% discount on your solo ads. Now, this is for a limited time only. So go ahead and go to the link now and book your solo ad today. I hope you guys got some value from this information. I hope that it helps you profit more when it comes to purchasing solos because this is by far one of the best and fastest ways to actually build your list as we know that your list is going to be your main asset and it's going to help you make a ton of money in terms of affiliate commissions down the road so build your list get started with solo ads hit the link below lj's link the, my special coupon code john special limited time only get that 15 percent off it's definitely worth it and i'll see you guys in the next video peace